everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Chris Glitzos, known as Wood Tinkerer. Today, well, today I'm actually taking my wife's Happy Mother's Day little present she got for me, and I am going to put it together, and I know exactly what she was hinting at. So I'm, I'm not going to tell you, but if you stay with me, you will find out at the end. So with no happy ado, let's get started, all right? There's a lot of sanding, so we're going to sand all the corners. I like rounded edges. Like I said in the past, always take a piece, make it very, very tacky with the glue, and then, and only then, you apply it. And later on, it's easier to peel, and it will stay where it's supposed to stay. Best way to use a hole saw is do one side and then the other. After you cut out the piece, use a vise to hold the piece and repeat the same process again. Take your time to sand the interior piece, make it nice and smooth. Time to cut out the legs for the base. Take your time with this. Hey, look at this. One more time using the hole saw. I think it's going to come out really, really nice. So with no further ado, let's start with part of the assembly. Let's get started. We'll get started by gluing the legs to the base. Time to stack up and glue all those circles to make a perfect cylinder so the knives and forks and spoons could lay in. Hey folks, I really don't like sanding, but I'm getting ready to get started with sanding one more time. <laughs> I'm cutting a few rings that are going to hold the paper plates in place. Using a Forster bit to drill a hole the same thickness as the dowel. Repeat the same procedure with the wooden ball. Time to cut the dowels. the wooden ball and the wooden dowel together and then apply some glue to the base. Make sure that it is lined up and at a 90 degree angle. Time to glue the rings. These rings will hold the salt and pepper shaker in place. Very little glue is needed and just enough hand pressure and once the glue is set you will have a very strong joint. For the mustard and ketchup bottle, I like to make floating rings. These rings will hold both bottles in place. We are assembling the brackets that will hold the paper plates in place. I am assembling what I call my wooden buttons. Let's glue those wooden buttons.
The handle made from a wooden ball and a dowel looks kind of plain. I'm going to add a couple of leaves to give it the appearance of a flower, kind of like a nice tulip. A couple of extra rings will secure the plates in place from them falling out. Every good plate caddy needs a good napkin holder, but I also want this napkin holder to have a nice design. Well, we're coming to the end of our build. Time to glue the napkin holder bracket in place. And, well, it does look nice, doesn't it? Well, we're going to start to give it a nice coat of heavy polyurethane to protect the wood 